Hey everybody, it's Corey from Spreadsheet Class. Today I have a really cool formula that I want to show you how to use, and it's called the Import XML formula. This formula allows you to web scrape, which is to pull information off of different websites into your Google Spreadsheet. And so there's a lot of different cool stuff that you can do with this formula. Personally, I use this formula all of the time to look up stock prices and crypto prices and different things that are related to um, stocks, which is what you're seeing here on this screen. Now there's one more thing that we need to go over before we get into the Google Sheets formula, which is how to find this code that you see here in the formula bar on each web page that we want to pull information from, and more specifically, from each element that we want to pull information from into our Google spreadsheet. So here we're on the Yahoo Finance website looking at a price quote for Tesla, T-S-L-A. And so we need to use this URL in our Google Sheets formula to specify what website or what web page we're pulling information from. Now that's the pretty basic part, but here's the part that you need to know if you want to web scrape. Now in this case, I want to recreate the formula that we use that shows the description of the company. And so on Yahoo Finance, at least on a computer, this means we have to scroll down. So here it shows the company description. Tesla Inc. designs, develops, manufactures, so forth. So note that each little different thing on a web page is called an element. That includes the buttons, the entire bar that contains the buttons, the sidebar elements, and each of these elements has a variety of addresses that you can simply copy and paste. And the one that we're concerned with for the purposes of using the import XML formula is what's called the X path. And so what I'm going to do is hover my cursor over this element here, which is the description. And then I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click inspect. Now a bar is going to pop up on the right. Again, do not let this intimidate you. There's a lot of different code here. You don't have to know what it means. But as you can see here, I wanted to inspect the element that I hovered my cursor over and it's highlighted for me here what that element is. And so I'm simply going to right click again, hover my cursor over copy, and then I'm going to click copy full X path. Usually copy X path works, but sometimes it includes some code that shortens things that doesn't work. And so uh, make sure that you click copy full X path. So again, the two important things that we need for our formula is the URL to tell which page that we're pulling information from and the X path that is from the element that we want to pull information from. So let's go ahead and take those two different things and put them into our import XML formula in Google Sheets. So what I'm going to do is recreate the formula here in cell J2 that again shows the description of the company that's pulled from Yahoo Finance. So I'm going to delete the formula that's there. So first, what I'm going to do is go to Yahoo Finance and copy the URL, then I'm going to type equals import XML parentheses, and now it's asking us for the URL, and so I'm going to type a quotation mark, then I'm going to paste the URL that I copied from Yahoo Finance, then I'm going to put another quotation mark, then I'm going to type a comma, and now it's asking us for the XPath query. So again, we're going to need to retrieve this from Yahoo Finance. So I'm going back to Yahoo Finance, hovering my cursor over the description, which is the element that I want to retrieve the information from. I right click, then I click inspect. It takes a minute for the bar on the side to pop up. But when it does, right click, hover your cursor over copy, and then click copy full X path. Go back to your Google spreadsheet, type a quotation mark, paste the X path that you just copied from Yahoo Finance, 
type another quotation mark, and now simply press enter. Now our formula is working in a Google spreadsheet by simply using a formula we're pulling information off of the Yahoo Finance website, and in this case, we're showing the description for Tesla stock. And also, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.